let me hip y'all to the structure real quick, man. My birthday tomorrow, April 25th. Cowboys don't get no pick on my birthday. You get no pick on my birthday. It's my day. It's Eagles day. You get no pick on my birthday. Don't even watch the draft. Don't even watch the draft. Don't even talk to us about the draft. Don't even, don't even, don't even make draft videos until weekday, until second day. Until second day, don't even make draft videos. Hope somebody slip down. Hope somebody slip to like, what are y'all, number 50 something? Hope somebody slip to number 55. Y'all don't got nothing to say on day one. Nothing to say on day one. Nothing. Don't make no videos diagnosing what everybody else in the division did. Because we wasn't stupid enough to give up our first round pick like y'all was. Don't make no videos diagnosing it. Don't make no videos trying to break it down. We don't want to hear from you. If you don't have a pick, at ease. Fall back. Fall back. April 25th is now declared Philadelphia Eagles Day. My birthday. We pick. You don't. crazy man let me give y'all some advice real quick listen whatever you do man whatever you do don't you ever listen don't ever play yourself like i did don't ever switch barbers it don't matter how drastic the situation is it don't matter how bad you think you need a cut because dude it it, it looked like i got scouted by an indian it looked like i was just in the dark and he just had the clippers by the handle and just start beating me all on the top of my head with him i don't like how i look and if I see him, he owe me money now. But anyway, listen, man. Let's get to it real quick. Did I... Pardon me. I'm back at you with the back at you. And I am the best reporting on the Eagles. So you got some reports. You got some reports that's swirling around. Talking about Nelson Aguilar being on the trade block. What do that mean to me? What do that mean for us? What does it mean in general? We don't get to all of that. But I feel like first and foremost, Nelson Aguilar being on a trade block is a huge mistake. Why would you risk? Why would you risk? Um, you know, it's not even really a risk. Why would you play yourself like that? You develop Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar was arguably a bum two years ago. Nelson Aguilar was a bum two years ago. Um, I thought he was a bum. I didn't like him. You put the time in, you develop this guy and you awarded him his nine million dollars. Why would you let him go now? Why would you let him go now? Why would you let him go now? And if you let if you let Nelson Aguilar go, you better be looking for another another receiver, somebody who doesn't want to be the number one option, somebody who could play in the system. You already got a system going right now. See, this is this is what I hate about this is what I hate about teams that are built that are built to compete. They want to they want to take the easy road. They want to they want to draft somebody young and plug somebody in young who they think that could retain the same the same level of play and not have to pay the guy. Once his contract is up, they want to be done with him and not have to pay him. Let him hit free agency and let somebody else pay him for his services. The NFL is a business. The NFL isn't a, I'll borrow you while you young and hopefully when you get hurt, nobody don't want you. If you like a guy, won't you just pay him some bread now? Won't you pay him some bread now? You know what I'm saying, man? Letting Nelson Aguilar go could probably be the worst move. Howie Roseman or whoever make... It could be the worst move under the Howie Roseman regime. It could be the worst move under the Howie Roseman regime, in my opinion. He's already developed. He's already a solidified slot. It's Nelson Aguilar. He's already developed, already a solidified slot. Why would you talk, Why would you even think about it? Why would you even let those rumors be out there? For a draft, for a pick? Who are you going to pick up? Who are you going to pick up? Who you gonna pick up? Now let me let me remind you guys of something. When Nelson Aguilar came out of college, he was good. He was highly scouted. Nelson Aguilar, Nelson Aguilar was a good college football player. But you know what happens? All these all these receivers that that if we if we're possibly moving up for another receiver, they're all good in college. They're all going to get drafted. They're all good in college. But Nelson Aguilar's meltdown didn't happen until he got to the second level. Then he had to damn near learn how to catch all over again. We had to develop that out of Nelson Aguilar, the confidence to do this at the second level. So if you're looking to replace your starting slot receiver, which is Nelson Aguilar, he's, he, he's been developed into a top 10, top 15 slot receiver in the game. He's been developed to a top 10, top 15 slot receiver in the game. Are you willing to give that up? 
you willing to give that up? It don't make no sense to me, man. A little bit of advice that I'm going to give to all the Eagles content creators and all the Eagles fans around the world. Not even the content creators. Content creators, do your thing. The fans around the world, don't get, don't get, don't get riled up with this draft. Don't get riled up with the draft and what's going to happen and the possibilities of the ifs. Because nobody knows who's going to get drafted. Nobody knows who's going to get drafted. Just let it all play out and see if it's the best fit for the team. But my advice for the Philadelphia Eagles, what I would do if I was in charge of these picks, is I would be looking to draft somebody who can contribute right away. And most likely, that's not skill players. You don't need a running back. If you're looking at Jacobs, why? When you just got, um, when you just got the guy from Chicago. Why? Why are you looking at Jacobs? Why are you looking at receivers if you got Alshon Jeffrey and um, Deshaun Jackson and Nelson Aguilar? What you need, listen, the offensive line, in my opinion, the offensive line is one injury away from being in shambles. The offensive line needs attention. The offensive line is one injury away from being in shambles. I, I kind of like the notion of Frank Clark coming to us when that, those rumors were swirling about. But look where Frank, Frank Clark just got a bag. He just got a bag. We obviously wasn't going to pay that. We wasn't going to pay that. Frank Clark just got paid. You got to go offensive line, man. I think I think you got to put heavy emphasis on the offensive line, man. We go as Car we go as Carson Wentz goes. Deshaun Jackson is durable for the most part. Alshon Jeffrey is he's getting durable for the most part. We got to keep the quarterback upright. Zach Ertz is durable for the most part. Our, our running back one is durable for the most part. We got to keep Carson Wentz upright. That got to be the main focus. That should be the main focus right now. All these skill positions that they're talking about, it just, it, it don't make any sense to me. It don't make any sense to me. You know what I mean? And Nelson Aguilar probably ain't, probably ain't the only guy that could possibly be gone. He's not the only guy that could possibly be gone. Jalen Mills is still an option to be gone. Um, you, you know, so, somebody ain't going to make it, man. We got way too much talent on our roster. And when you got too much talent and you got too many available players on the roster, GMs get antsy. They get antsy. They're getting real antsy, man. They 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 really they're, they're willing to let go of somebody. I mean, they getting antsy, man. And I just don't want them to make the wrong move. I want them to make the smart move. Make the move that's going to benefit the team. What benefits the team right now? Keeping Carson Wentz upright. Now, I understand you got to kind of offload some of these guys who are due contract extensions and who are due contracts next year. The easiest way to offload some of those guys right now or to just trade and get somebody younger who ain't due for another three years. I understand that that's a cheaper way to do things, but you got to make sure it's worth it. You got to make sure it's worth it. The only reason why Sidney Jones is on the roster is because he's still young. He's still got a couple years that we don't have to extend or pay him. That's why Sidney Jones is still on the roster. The only reason why Nelson Aguilar and Jalen Mills' names are being spoken is because after this season, Correct me if I'm wrong on Jalen Mills. After this season, those guys have to be paid. They have to be paid to stay. It could get shaky, man. The draft could get really shaky. Um, it, uh, I, I just think, I think either one of these two players are going to be available. I think Greedy Williams is going to end up being at there at 25, or I think DK Metcalf is going to end up being there at 25. I'm trying to tell you, I just don't see both of them being gone because people are people are going to be making ridiculous trades to move up for a quarterback. The Redskins are talking about doing it. You never know what the Giants are, are, are going to do as far as moving up for a quarterback. People are going to start wheeling and dealing and moving up to get one of these quarterbacks in this draft, and that's going to throw the balance of everything off. The same way Frank, the same way Tank Harris's contract extension through the balance of it didn't throw the balance off. It just it just it just up the price for any good defensive end. Frank Clark just got a bag. Tank Harris just got a bag. What do you think is going? Now, now listen. Now, if, Brand, now if, if Brandon Graham, if Brandon Graham would have been holding out, waiting for us to get some money right, and those guys got signed before Brandon Graham, it could have got ugly. It could have got ugly. I'm telling you, bro. It could have got ugly because Brandon Graham could have demanded double of what he got. It could have got ugly for us. Man, the draft is the draft is tomorrow at eight o'clock. Hold your horses. Take it easy. And let's pray that the team address the obvious need, which is the offensive line. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't understand how anybody can say the offensive line isn't an obvious need. We are one injury away on that offensive line from being a shipwreck, from being a shipwreck, one injury away from being a shipwreck. And I believe we need to tighten up that offensive line at all costs. And that's just how I feel. Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you. I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Look at this guy walking this nice dog. Cute dog.
<sighs> Address the need. 